Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be looking at some 2v2 Hellgates. Uh, we're going to be running some random and variety builds here. Um, this is old clips along with new clips. So uh, if you guys see some struggle in, um, you know, mechanical ability, that is probably because some of these clips are old back when I just started the game and was kind of new uh, to some of these abilities. So I was learning during some of these uh, clips, but right here we're going to start off with a Warbo and Black Hands duo build here. We got a uh, good catch on that first guy, and the second guy's slowly going to die here as Al fears him to the side. Um, this clip is a little bit old, but we're going to be getting to some newer uh, newer fights here in a second. So here we got another Warbo, um, a Warbo 2v2 Hellgate. And we're going in hot on the guy on the side here as they split up quite a bit. I'm going to go giant, and I'm going to get a lot of damage down on this first guy with uh, with Alf's help. We're going to kill him with no problem. Uh, I'm going to have to kite, and I get a good a good snare there uh, to keep me alive and keep him away from me. Um, Warbo is probably not your best option in 2v2 Hellgates, but there it is. And you see two clips of it just kind of shredding. Um, here we got myself going Great Curse in Padme's defense is going that holy heal and uh, this is one of our early earlier times too and I, I haven't ran great curse in a little bit but it's still one of the strongest um, one of the strongest builds for Hellgates for sure as you could see there it just kind of shreds through their heals eventually as you're able to just get healed and healed and healed up with having a purging shield uh, running that mage robe or cleric robe whatever you guys choose to run uh, but you basically get a lot of defenses with the giant as well, and then uh, Padme's is able to heal me up. Um, right there, you saw the shred when he was running around in circles. Um, and right here, we're going to be able to finish him off. Uh, this the other guy is also running curse, so he's getting a lot of stacks on Padme. So Padme's probably not going to be able to outheal this, as like I said, you can out damage a healer uh, running curse. So he did actually fall there, um, but it's not a problem as we will. Take our time and loot all of the gear. Um, we'll go through this. I know some of you guys like to see some loot, so I didn't cut this one out because this clip actually did have me looting, so I just went with, went for it and kind of let it play through. Um, I did do a shorter video today, guys. Uh, it's for the sake of editing. I just kind of cut uh, and tried to get all the good stuff. Um, make sure you guys weren't wasting any time during my videos. So. Uh, just taking some feedback from the comments I see, I've seen in the past videos, so I'm trying to trying to make the video and the content better and better as we go on. So, right here we have another fight. Uh, Alf's running that Druidic heal that is so strong that we we know we have so many PvP Hellgate uh, montages, highlights, or whatever you want to call them, of uh, just highlight after highlight of us just winning these. This is probably our strongest build um, ever. I, I don't know if it's really beatable uh, if played right. But, you know, it's definitely got to be one of our strongest. And you're just witnessing here how, how devastating it can be for the other team. Uh, the slingshot build, uh, that's just, that's so fun. And, you know, it can also be just so devastating. But there are counters to it. So uh, I haven't ran into the counters myself yet. And I'm not going to about to share them, uh, share the counters. But, you know, they, they are there in place. So uh, here we're going to be doing another Hellgate, it looks like, with the Great Cursed. And I'm going to be with Padme's defense this time. He's going to be running the Holy Heal again, it looks like. Um, he's throwing some autos in because he doesn't really need to heal me yet. Um, I haven't done much damage to me. Um, they're going to start trying to stack some damage here. This fight's going to be a pretty long one. As I get pretty low there, Padme just gets a full-on heal on me, and that's going to be huge. Uh, they have really no way to stop that heal. <coughs> what you're going to notice is uh, Padme's is probably going to be running a Limhurst here. I, I, I'm going to assume he's running a Limhurst cape. As a healer in a Hellgates, uh, you're going to want to run a Limhurst because if you run out of mana or energy... Uh, whatever you guys want to call it, you will lose the fight pretty much instantly right after that. Obviously, so you got to make sure you're not gonna you're not gonna have run out of energy. And uh, I think that healer kind of starts to struggle in energy as Pat Mays gets a not a great fear. He tried to get a fear in between them, but he got a pretty weak and had to play it defensively. Uh, right here, uh, the healer actually gets pushed into mobs a little bit, and it gives us some time to kill the damage dealer as he runs away. Uh, the next clip we're going to be having a carrying collar now is coming out. Uh, so we've had the Warbow, we've had the Great Curse, and now we're going to be looking at the carrying collar. I know we've been running a lot of blood, blood letter builds, so I wanted to show you guys some variety. Um, but right here, uh, Patent Base is going to be running that Holy Heal again, and I'm going to be on this guy with, like glue with the carrying collar. The carrying collar is going to reduce a lot of healing. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys 
know the abilities or you know aware of the abilities on the carrying collar basically it's going to reduce healing uh, as i believe almost all axes do reduce healing um, but it's very strong for 2v2s if you want to try it out go ahead um, there are better builds but you know it's definitely one of the strongest as the reduced healing in 2v2 hell gates is huge it's usually you run into a healer and a dps <clears throat> But we're going to be slowly taking out this last guy here um, under the Hellgate center. Um, it is a slow kill, but, you know, he does end up taking, taking one for his team uh, that no longer exists because they also died. But he realizes he can't run away because of the mobs being there and tries to come back in on Padme and stands no chance. So this will be the last clip of the day. Uh, we're going to be having a carrying color Claymore combo with Alf here. And this clip's a bit old as well, so beware of possible mistakes um, we are going to be running that Merc med jacket so I will have that uh, life steal or uh, life aura I guess I don't know how you guys want to describe it but basically I'll be able to regenerate some health based on the damage I'm doing but obviously it doesn't matter in this case as we just kind of shred straight through him with the double damage uh, double damage is going to definitely start becoming the main meta I think uh, people are going to start realizing what builds work and what builds don't. Um, in the beginning, it was all about damage and a healer. Uh, but, you know, it's starting to change meta. And I hope you guys like today's video. And if you guys do like today's video, make sure you hit that sub button and comment below for more, uh, more videos.